In this video, we're going to walk you through assembling a Toughbox Mini AM2236, which is the gearbox included in your 2013 kit of parts. Now that you're familiar with all the parts in the kit, let's build a gearbox. Let's start assembly with the housing and bearings. You will notice that these bearings, you cannot see the balls inside. That means these bearings are shielded. Two of these bearings do not have a lip on them, and the other two do. That little lip is called a flange. Right now we need the unflanged bearings. Let's put those others away for now. Before we go any further, Let's establish something that might help us out for the assembly. The flat part is the top. The curved edge is the bottom. These two shielded bearings will need to go into the two vertical center holes of the housing. Sometimes they can press in easily with your fingers. Sometimes they might need slight convincing. This piece is the small cluster shaft. We're gonna put it into the top bearing. You may or may not need to use some force to get it into the bearing. Let's take a look at the gears. After we build the gearbox, we'll attach a SIM motor to it. These two gears that have a keyway in them will go with that. We'll come back to these two gears later. Let's look at the large two gears. The one on the left has a half inch hex hole, while the one on the right has a 3 8 inch hex hole. The holes are known as a bore. We want the 3 8 inch hex bore right now. We're gonna put it on to the cluster shaft with the little bumped surface facing down. That little bump is known as a boss. If it does not press on with your fingers, gently tap it with a brass hammer. Next up is the small cluster gear. Place this on the cluster shaft on top of the large cluster gear. However, with this gear, make sure that the boss is facing up. This next part is exciting. We're gonna attach the clip ring to the output shaft. That's gonna help keep a gear in place. If you have a wrench, you might be able to push on the clip. We're gonna carefully tap it on with our brass hammer. Try not to smash your fingers. Now that that's done, let's set it aside. Remember those flanged bearings from before? Grab those two flanged bearings and the tough box mini shaft plate. We're going to press these bearings into the large holes of the shaft place. It's easiest to do so with an arbor press, but many of you don't have one. So this method will work instead. Get two items to raise up the shaft plate. Make sure you space out the wood blocks or whatever you have so the bearings can go through. If the bearings cannot be inserted with your hands, use a block of wood and a hammer to evenly insert the bearings. Let's go back to the gearbox. The output shaft that you installed the clip on is going to go into the other bearing of the housing. Because the end of the output shaft sticks through the gearbox, let's set the gearbox on top of a block of wood to make assembling it a little bit easier. Remember that other large gear we talked about earlier? Now we want to go ahead and grab that. Remember the boss we talked about earlier as well? We want to make sure it's facing up. Now that we have all the gears in place, Grab the grease packets from the kit and apply the grease evenly within the gears. Let's grab the shaft plate. We want to place it over the shafts with the flanges facing in towards the gears. Use the locating studs in the housing and the holes in the shaft plate to line up the shaft plate. You may need to use a hammer to mate the parts all the way. Take the four nylock nuts one at a time and hold them into the housing with your finger. Flip over the gearbox and finger tight socket head cap screws into them. 
Go back and re-tighten them all and you have a completed Toughbox Mini. Let's assemble the SIM motor for this gearbox. Take the two washers and place them over the SIM shaft. Grab the smaller of the keys and place that into the keyway of the SIM. Those gears with a keyway from earlier that we set aside, grab one now. You'll want to line the keyway in the gear up with the machine key in the shaft. An arbor press is preferred, but you can also tap on the gear. Lastly, we want to take the retainer clip and place it down on the shaft. That'll make sure that all of these items stay on the shaft in the place that they are now. Notice the mounting holes in the SIM match up with holes in the housing. Go ahead and place the SIM into the gearbox and get your socket head cap screws with thread patch ready. Make sure that the holes are lined up with the SIM motor in the housing. Hold the assembly vertical and begin to tighten one of the screws. Do not tighten the first one all the way. Go ahead and tighten the second screw all the way. Once the second screw is tightened, go back to the first one and finish tightening that. For those of you who are assembling the 2013 kit, click this video here to continue building with the chassis. For those of you who are just watching for the gearbox assembly, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.